love your body and how you move with elegance. Damn, you an angel, cuz I swear you haven't sent. Shorty bad, but got a heart of benevolence. Focus on herself, no comp. They irrelevant. Love the way you move, so in tune with the groove. Shade butter, baby, melanated skin so smooth. You got me hooked like Captain Sweat. There's no capping. Black Queen magic got me stuck like traffic. Hey guys, so I'm on the road, it is 9.01, my appointment is at 9.15, um, I've already pre-registered, so I am good to go, um, Johnny is unable to go to this appointment, because he is out of town for work. My cousin was going to come with me, but one of her clients, she has to drop one of her clients off at 10, and my appointment's at 9.15 for my ultrasound, and then my appointment with my OB is at 10.15. So, She's not going to be able to make it, so I am by myself with this appointment. It's okay. I'm not tripping. Um, I'm going to try to record as much as I can record for this one. Um, I know the last time we were in the ultrasound room, uh, on the wall plastered right by the bed, it said, like, no uh, recording and no phones and stuff so I don't know how that's gonna go um, so we'll see how that goes I'm gonna ask my OB if um, I can get like fluids today if I can go down to like the emergency or whatever and get like a bag of fluids just to like get me ahead because like water is just everything is my enemy right now <laughs> so we'll see but like I said on my way to my appointment um, if I am able to record I will get uh, details I will get a clip of something hopefully but if I don't I'll let you guys know what's the judge the gist of my ultrasound today so I'll see you guys in the next clip hey guys so I am out of the appointment as you guys can see I'm back in the car um I did not record because like at first when she was doing the ultrasound um she had the the screen like face towards her so I couldn't see anything at all and um then uh she was like well i'm gonna just take up some pictures and then she said the doctor would be the one to tell me like my results and stuff like that so i was more i was like okay because i know the last um ultrasound tech lady basically showed like i seen everything that she seen and but this one I didn't so she um she says uh well there's baby and when she says that my heart just like fluttered because for those of you that watched my previous video I had told you guys um that we seen uh when we went to our first ultrasound they seen the gestational sac and they seen the yolk sac, but uh, they didn't see baby. So they scheduled me a week out, which was today, and she seen baby. And I got my 
ultrasound pictures like y'all i never in a million years would have would think that i would ever have like a sonogram i think these are what it's called let me wait till i uh Praise Jesus. Look at the light. Look at the light being with me so I can show y'all this. The light was like, okay, we're going to turn red so you can show them. But um, there's the baby bean right there, you guys. So, um, when, I first, when I went to my first ultrasound, the way that they were uh because you know they say they say that you're supposed to um they ask your first day of your last period and stuff like that so the first day of my last period would make me like nine weeks and i'm not nine weeks so last week they were saying that I was six weeks last week and this week they're basically like the, the ultrasound lady said that my gestational sac is measuring out at like seven weeks and three days but baby is measuring um six weeks and three days but when they uh the doctor looked at my ultrasound and everything well when they sent it up to the doctor for the doctor to look at it said they said that i was seven weeks so i'm just like what like okay so because they said my period my the first day of my last period is like not matching up to how far along I am and I just feel like I ovulated super late like super 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 late and that's why it's not um oh shoot I should have got over and that's why it's not uh matching up to um my last cycle but um yeah, I'm seven weeks. It's crazy. Like I'm like in one week I will be eight weeks. I will be two months. Two months. her grand grand auntie because um y'all know that my mom passed away and um so my uh my aunt was like she wants grandma uh like grandma privileges and she said that my mom would be like she would be happy if my auntie took grandma privileges so i gave her that that uh, title so she's like I'm gonna be a grand auntie it's like yeah you are um but yeah and her birthday is July 18th so we'll see we'll see when this uh little bean wants to sprout its head and see if he actually comes July Nineteen. What else was I going to tell you guys? Oh, in four weeks, we get to find out what baby is. Um, so, dang, I'll be like.
11 weeks. Almost be three months. That is crazy. That is so crazy, you guys. I'm going to be a fucking mom. I'm nervous now. <laughs> It's like I wanted this so bad, but now I'm like, oh God, oh God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take care of a little mini me. But I'm happy though. I'm truly, truly happy. But I wanted to stop in and let you guys know if this car doesn't fucking go. Um, I wanted to stop in and tell you guys the good news and how far along I am, which is seven weeks, and baby is due July 19th. So yeah, your girl's having a baby, which you guys already knew that, but you know, for sure, for sure, baby bean is in there. So yeah. I'm about to go to Target and get these prenatal pills. And I'll show you guys what kind I get once I get home. But I did get to eat today. Um, I ate something from work. Uh, we got these like little gift card things for our cafeteria. Those who didn't make it to the Thanksgiving dinner and I got a gyro, a gyro, gyro, whatever. Um, I got one of those and then I got some mozzarella sticks. I did not eat the mozzarella sticks, but I ate majority of the gyro sandwich thingy. I ate majority of that without feeling sick. Now I, I went a little overboard and I ate what I can eat and then I was like, Ooh, I want to take one more bite. So I took one more bite and I was good. Then I was like, let's try to take one more bite. And then I tried to take the that last bite and I was like, nope, spit it in the container. So, um, yeah. Ooh, something's in my eye and I'm driving. Um, but yeah. I wanted to just stop in and tell you guys all to do all the news and uh, I'm about to go in here real quick so uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next clip so guys we finally found a tree topper so I'm about to stick it on top of the tree and then I'm gonna show you guys um what prenatals I got and I got something else but I'll show you guys in a second so there is the tree topper it's so cute you guys I still have some um, ornaments that I need to put on there but other than that she's good to go So I wanted to show you guys um, what else I got. Um, I went to um, Target and got my prenatals. So when I went to Target, I bought this little picture frame and I bought this to go on my desk and it's gold or brass. So I thought it would like be cute to sit on my desk with um, my ultrasound. But then I went to Five Below and bought the tree topper. And then I seen these. So they're like really thick glass uh, frames and they were 50% off. So this one was $12.99 and this one is 
I wanted to get two of these, but the other one that I had picked up, once I got to the register, <sighs> once I got to the register, it was a uh, crack. And they had like a little chip on the side. So I went back and got this one. So um, I'm like, damn, do I want to use this for the... Um, my desk or do I want to use this one for my desk like I'm not for sure and I bought an extra one because I'm going to put one in the picture frame for Johnny and put it on his desk and um I want to put a like a baby bean on the uh picture frame with my cricket um or a little bean um on there so i'm trying to figure out what i want to do because i might just put one in here because i like this like i really like this and i was like well, I got this bigger picture frame. I might just take this one back to Walmart. But it was only $8. So I was like, and it matches the gold on my um, nail desk. So I was like, I kind of want to keep this. So I might just, because I got three ultrasound pictures. So I might um, just take one of the ultrasound pictures and put it in here because I was going to put both of them in, in here. I might put one in this one, which I could have got another, the other $12.99 one, but I didn't. And then put one in here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys the picture frames that I bought. Uh, people might think it's uh, I'm overdoing it with the picture frames of the ultrasound but for those of you guys that don't know this is my first ever baby my first ever pregnancy so like we finna go all the way out with this one <laughs> like all the way out um but uh i told you guys i think i told you guys in the clip where i was still i was pulling out of the hospital um I were uh, I was going to get well the doctor asked me if I needed them to prescribe me some prenatal but I did not want to take a prenatal pill from the doctor um because I know those prenatal pills are gigantic and um I'm not the one for that no so um I went to Target when I went to Target uh, I picked up some um, Hello Bello Prenatal Plus DHA. So I picked up these and um, you take two gummies and the folate is, folic acid is 400. So I'm going to take these, um, they're vegan, which I didn't even see that they were vegan, but this is what I'm going to take. Um, we'll see how this does. I just can't take the big ass pills. Now, if I could find another pill that's better than this, that's, uh, smaller, and don't have no nasty ass taste then we in there but for right now um at least i'm getting jesus christ at least i'm getting some type of prenatal so we finna ew that stinks it's supposed to be sweet or a sweet orange flavor. Let's see how this goes. Oh, 
how sweet orange this shit tastes because it looks old. Let's see. And if any of you take like uh have taken any type of like gummies instead of the regular prenatal pills um which ones work for you oh huh. they're not bad they stink though Ooh. but they're not bad so there we go Damn, those are good. But yeah, so I want to show you guys what I got. I'm going to end this vlog because I might do my nails. I've been lazy. I want to do my nails so bad because it's time. It's time. But I just don't feel like doing them, but I know I need to do them. So I'm going to mess around with these picture frames and probably do my nails not for sure but yeah that's it you guys um yeah <laughs> that's that's it so if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe and Make sure you click the bell so you guys be notified when I post another motherfucking video. And um, did I tell you guys to like the video? Like the video before you leave out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.